What's up guys, today I'm going to be doing a little bit of coral trading. This is the best way to trade corals and get corals is through another local reefer. We're going to be hanging out with D. D is the uh, fellow reefer who has the 400 gallon reef tank. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's a two part video series. I may do another one with him uh, because I got to pick up some snails and a test kit. In my unboxing, um, from Cultivated Reef. I had got that and it was a little tiny thing. And then this one, and then this one I got from um, 67 Mustang or Cory. He's on uh, uh, Reef to Reef. And uh, he gave me little frags of that. But same thing with this. This one right here was like a little tiny thing. It's huge. So what, about a year of growth? Yeah, maybe if that. But this one's like huge right there. It'll grow up, fill up, and then down I got from him. But they all pop, They're really nice. And those ones I got from um, uh, what's it, Reefer's Garage. It was like 12 SPS, but I got five. And doing pretty good, but uh, yeah. There's a lot of flow in here too. Yeah. I turned my flow up. You did? Yeah. Well, you're gonna have to. But I, I turned it up. I. I angled them a little bit different, so I mean, it still don't look like anything's in there, but there's like 12,000 gallons per hour yeah. up and through there. But, yeah. Um, the, oh, did you see that Jedi Mind Tree I was telling you about? The one up there? There's one there, and then there's one on the frag rack. I don't know if you already picked it up. I got a little piece, but it don't look like that. Yeah, mine is pretty dark. The, this one is like full of polyps all over the place. Those reef breeders. Though. Yeah, the reef breeders and then the ATI, the T5s, I'm sure help. Probably overkill. Probably a lot overkill, but I like I it. I mean, I'd rather have overkill than not enough. Right now, me and my wife going through just renovating just everything downstairs. So the whole stand is going to be the same color as the walls. Oh, which nice. Is yeah, it's trying to make it look like the, the tank is supposed to be there. Oh, and then they, these clothes, Kevin, I hooked Kevin up with these, but they weren't that big. I only gave him like two heads and then, but you got them all now. <laughs> but these ones, these ones are starting to oh, spread and stuff like that. I got those from Jimmy. The ones on the plug I actually got from Aqua SD and they never did anything for me. What is this piece in here? I mean, this piece is shit. Which one? That one? That's the Mystic. No, the, the Perf Pro. It's Mystic? Yeah, that's Mystic uh, Monopora right there. And that one, I was dying, dude. And uh, I can give you that. I it, need to some of that. It, but it's a small frag, man. It's this one right here. But it's yours, man. You want it? You can have it. Which one? That little red clump right there next to that green uh, stick that looks like it's dying, but it's, it's bouncing back. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, just stick it somewhere where you won't lose it because your tank is monster. I've been trying to get everything epoxy down. Just everything. I love that BSI, man. BSI super glue is the shit. You got uh, birds that's growing back there. Mm, which one? Oh, in the back. Oh, yeah, I dropped those frags in the bottom. They fell off my frag rack, and then I just never... Uh, I, I need to move this big rock. And really... I didn't mind giving you this whole thing because I got a little one and, you know, I'd rather you need something to fill up your tank <laughs> up, upwards. That'll be good. I'll cut you a whole corner of those. Sweet, man. Polyps. Yeah, because I was talking about um, the best way to get corals is actually the tree. And shit, man, you hooked it up. Once you get those torches, Everybody wants to put them in high flow. They'll watch them sway. I like them, them over there, man. Put them somewhere low to moderate. More low than moderate. Uh -huh. These things, they explode up. Yeah. I'm planning on sticking them back there in the back. But this this big old rock right here was in my uh, little 24 and I was hogging up, everything up. And oh, you remember when we did the, the filming, how much Aptasia I had? I had like, not like, where I was like, oh, these stupid aptasia, I can't get them. It was off to the far right corner, and they were like big, like massive hits of aptasia. Uh -huh. They're all gone. From uh, you, you my know. copper band. Oh, 
shit. I've been trying to look. I've literally been looking for Aptasia. Like, huh, let me see if I can find some. I can't find that one Aptasia, period. Hmm. That's cool, man. I actually caught him eating one. And there were big pieces and he was going at it? And he goes at it because you know my copper bean. He's pretty big. Yeah. He, he, he took him out. Easily. There was one on this A can that I took out. And I uh, <clears throat> I put it in calc washer. I took the whole A can out. And I'm thinking about taking this whole rock out because they got some damn, uh, a whole shit of, of Aptasia right there that I can solve for whatever. It's getting crazy. Um, you want some of those flowers too? These little, these ones right here? Sure. They, they grow pretty cool. I mean, they're small, but I got a rock in that 24 you can have. And they spread, man. As you can see, like, I'm here. If I can catch my copper band, I'll let you borrow them. Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah, because I got them all over the place. Just don't ever feed them. If you don't feed them, he'll be fine. I mean, you can feed the rest of the fish, uh -huh. but he mainly goes out the mice and brine. Um, Once I, I seen the Aptasia going, then I started feeding him. But if he doesn't eat, he's going to eat the Aptasia because he's going to get hungry. Sweet. Yeah, man. That's the best way to get. <clears throat> Did you, uh, oh, this little, this white crap right here, it's because I'm doing that vinegar dosing. So it's kind of, uh, kind of gets all over the place. But You know, the vinegar, if you look at the rock though, it's, Super freaking lit. Oh, that's it. I found a little bastard right here. What is it? It's a uh, Astorina. I'm gonna get his ass right now. I'm gonna have to get a uh, Harley can. I couldn't tell you what mine are at right now. But so far, I mean, Dave, I've noticed that I haven't seen many of them. But those snails, they like repopulated times a hundred. They're like, millions of them at night mm -hmm. turn the light walk downstairs about midnight they're all on glass you're like wow that's cool and then this right here you can have it it's a it's small but it's a blue digi i got that from cultivated reef that little like stick and then there's some uh green slimer you can have too but you probably need a pit of frag rack so it doesn't get lost right away or i have mount them straight down oh, okay that's what I, for small pieces, I have to know. I got a frag rack uh, somewhere in the house. Yeah, I got all these cheap ones, but I want to get some better ones. I want to go through this seller on eBay. I was talking to uh, John earlier today. I mean, his SPS frags are five inches and uh, they're not a bad price at all. Oh, five inches, hell no. That's good. But he's not hes not local, right? Mm -hmm. not he's in New York. Yeah. From all his reviews, he's been getting 100% every time, so. Yeah. I mean, he has to be doing something right. I'm going to go ahead and end this here, but <clears throat> get some of these bags. As you can see, D hooked me up with a huge colony of uh, Pallies. I love these palettes because they're gold and they're also like a peach color. So a nice variety and it and you know what? Something like this would cost a good penny at the LFS. So I 100% say go get out there. Talk to fellow reefers in your area and you guys can hook each other up. But I love these ones. And it didn't cost me anything. It's just frags that I had that I broke. Um, pieces that accidentally broke and I just gave it to him. Um, and it's, it worked out really good. Uh, he wanted to buy it and I just like, you know what, let's just trade and that way uh, it doesn't cost you anything, it doesn't cost me anything and uh, you can use your money for more corals from somebody else. I ended up picking up this hot chalice right here. Um, you know, it's not even a tiny frag, but even if it was a tiny frag, I'd still be happy with it. You know, it's doing really good in my tank um, and you can see it's taking up like the whole side of this live rock right here and uh, it's going to grow out and it's going to be really, really nice. Also, if you don't have any uh, fellow reefers in your area that you really know, you can go to your LFS, your pet store, take them some of your corals and then see if they can give you credit uh, towards, you know, other equipment, fish, you know, fish food, 
stuff like that um, it, it's like a win-win for you you know a win because you're gonna get a discount or credit towards uh, fish or supplies that you need and it's a win for the uh, pet store because they don't have to pay really a whole lot of money to get some new pieces right here um, I like this section right here because it's my uh, new torch area this is a big piece guys I mean it probably doesn't look that big on the uh, TV or the computer or your phone but uh, it's a great big size he really hooked it up D uh, is the man he hooked it up so other than that guys this is a little update for this week I hope you guys enjoyed it I'm gonna go ahead and give you a full tank shot here in a minute and uh, just drop me the comments below another thing that I want to go ahead and bring up is I'm almost at the 3,000 subscriber mark which is pretty cool I've been doing this for a while now so I think that I'm gonna be coming out with some kind of uh, contest later on I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna make it you know a pretty decent one so stay tuned guys I hope you guys like the video like and subscribe and uh, further future contest details to come have a good one guys like and subscribe and you guys take care